I mean, swatching them, that was some payoff, let me tell you. I'm wearing a top, just so we're all clear. Queen Herb fans, I told you guys I made some purchases. I wanted to review this brand because I I had literally never heard of it and I was amazed at that. So for those of you who don't know, Queen Herbie has her own makeup line. It's called, I believe, St Queen Studio? Owned and run by women, cruelty free. So yeah, anyway, I was super interested in this because I, I don't even know how I came across it, but basically I went on the website and I picked up a few things and uh, you guys said you wanted to see a review. So here we are. So again, I purchased this stuff. This wasn't sent to me. Um, when I got the box, this is what it looked like. <laughs> so it's got paper that's like shredded money. I thought that was kind of cool. So I picked up some eyeshadow. I picked up an eyeshadow palette, a blush, a highlighter, a couple of lip products, I think. I want to get all this shit out of here. Insert, pretty. Some of the packaging is kind of like uh, the boxes are like a little bit more basic. Um, so it's just the black matte box with, oh, I didn't even realize that that was purple. That's really cool. So then they've got the shiny purple reflect, which is cool. The logo is like a dragon. I love matte black anything um, and then this is the packaging for the liquid lipstick so we got her you know nice enjoy that there are a lot of emotions in this so stick with me through the whole thing the first thing i opened i believe was the cream blush and i was kind of disappointed this is the packaging for the cream blush it's a stick and when i first opened it i popped it back on but this thing just like popped right off it's not glued on or anything it's just kind of like stuck on. The packaging is like very, very lightweight and plasticky uh, and it feels very, very cheap. That was my first impression. So that was the first thing that I opened and I was kind of like, oh. But the color is interesting. It's actually kind of a brick color. Um, so that is the blush color, which is actually like quite pigmented. Then I also picked up, which you probably saw in another video, if you watched that other video, this is in the same packaging, the highlight stick in the, the shade Goldilocks, which is beautiful it's like a champagne gold color it's got this really beautiful like warmth with peach i don't even know how to describe it um and it looks like it's going to be very very metallic but i actually used this in my like me running out the door makeup tutorial and it's so natural like it's really beautiful i love it uh, so i was very pleasantly surprised. that was actually the first time that i used that product and i was very pre pleasantly surprised they sent me a mascara which i did not order um unless it was a mistake but it's a fi it's got fibers in it, I believe. I'm super interested in this because I like the wand. So we're gonna be trying that. See that? Quite interesting. Seems like a nice thickening formula. We'll have to see. This is the packaging for the eyeshadow palette. Black, matte, silver, dragons. I was disappointed with the eyeshadow palette when I first opened it. It does not look the way it looks on the website. So this is incredible, like this is very pink looking to me, purpley pink tones, which I wasn't expecting. The website, so this is the All About the Benjamins palette. Okay, so this is what I looked at on the website. I don't know how well you guys can tell, but if you look at this image, doesn't that look so much more red? Like if you're looking at that, it just looks like reds, like warm tones. It looks so much more warm than this palette to me. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, this looks warmer to me. So I was expecting like this color to be much more red. That's my one. Yeah, the colors just look like way more saturated if I'm looking at the website, but we're gonna test that. Also, I, I should have read, I didn't realize this was a pressed glitter. I don't like pressed glitters, but whatever. Uh, the simple paper matte packaging is quite nice. I always am a fan of that. And then I picked up the Sugar Daddy liquid lipstick. So this is in the shade Sugar Daddy. Just kind of like a nice, a nice nude. It's kind of like, I don't know, a little deeper than the nude that I would typically use, but I think it's gonna be nice and flattering, so. So I'm gonna start off with the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so I'm actually going to mix this neutral matte, which is kind of like a bone shade. Uh, it looks a little bit lighter on my monitor. I'm gonna mix this with the center shade to create like a lighter pink. So I'm just tapping back and forth between those two colors. Oh, and I primed my eyes with my Anastasia primer, like I usually do. I actually wanted to use a different primer, but I didn't want to like, you know, change anything up. Um, I'm a little worried about staining, because you just never, you never know. I don't know where these are made. Oh, it says made in the USA. That actually looks kind of nice. They're kind of a little bit sheer, 
not like um, a ton of payoff, but the col I mean, the color looks nice, you know, but it takes a minute to build, which I'm not mad at because I would almost always prefer that over, you know, having way too much pigment. That's actually a really cool color. Those mix nicely. It's a kind of a bomb color. I used to always think that those like matte light shades were so unnecessary in these kinds of palettes, but it really does allow you to manipulate those colors and create like your very own shade. So like having a matte white, a matte bone is actually really, <laughs> that's really pretty actually. I like that a lot and it blended really nicely. I don't know if you guys see any like patchiness or anything, but I think it looks good. This is Sigma. Precision, I'm gonna pick up that center shade, which is kind of a strawberry color, I guess. And I'm just gonna focus that a little more detailed up here. It is actually like pretty pigmented. Uh, it does, it's like brighter than it looks in the palette. I actually really like that color. That is so fun. I'm actually really liking that. I don't know what to do. I'm just using just a, like a little bit of concealer. I'm just using my Dior um, concealer and a flat brush. I'm just going to uh, cut that crease. All right, now what I'm gonna do is pick up this like kind of icy pink. Oh, you can't really tell. It's got like a little bit more pink in it. It's kind of like icy. Yeah, maybe like right there you can see, uh, kind of neutrally, but it's like more cool toned than this matte bone color. I'm going to line all of that cut crease, starting at the beginning. Um, I'm actually gonna place this on like the very inner corner, like all the way down. That's really pretty, actually. It's quite um, satiny. And then I'm going to drag it all along that line is not what I was expecting. I was expecting to do like a smoky eye or something. So far, I'm really liking the formulas. I'm just gonna build this up on like the very inner part of the lid, kind of blending. I wanna create a little bit more dimension. So I think I'm gonna go in with that like shimmery peach. And using the same brush, I'm just gonna wipe that off. I'm gonna pick up the shimmery peach color and then kind of just like blend that. But I'm gonna maintain that like light neutral color uh, up on the cut crease so that it's like more, um, what do I wanna say? Defined, I guess. So I'm gonna put it here and then I'm just gonna kind of like blend it into that color, but I'm not gonna take it up too high. Those are really nice. Very pretty. Lots of payoff, but like in sort of, um, a really shiny way, not like too foiled, you know? Beautiful payoff. This has a little bit more gold reflect in it. So I'm kind of just like ombre these two colors. First of all, this brush is great. This is the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Flat Eyeshadow Brush. Loving it. That is so much fun. Okay, loving that. Super impressed. They're so much more um, pigmented and so far I have a teeny, teeny bit of fallout from those shimmery shades, but nothing like too crazy. All right, I'm gonna use this House Labs eyeliner. This is in the shade I open wide. It's just like a pale pink color. And I'm gonna focus it on the outer part of my eye and then kind of just blend it in to like the center, just like that. And then I'm actually gonna drag it a little bit out just to like open this part of my eye up. Oh wow, I do not know what brush this is. It's just like a tiny little, it looks like a tiny blending brush. It says Unit 201. I got it on Ulta.com, but now I can't remember what brand it's from. So I guess I'm gonna start off with just this pink shade and run it underneath my, like against my lash line. Bring it all the way into the inner corner. And then I'm gonna do that same thing that I did on the top where I mix the bone shade with this pink to create more of a blending color. Loving this brush. Wish I knew who made it. I kind of just like it the way it is, but I guess I'm gonna try this um, purpley color. 
and maybe just place it along my lower lash line. I'm gonna use that same brush. I just, I want something a little bit deeper, I guess. Just here. Oh, that's nice. There's so much more nuance in this palette than I really expected. I'm gonna take that color on that same brush and I'm just gonna place it like right in here just to deepen up this inner corner. Just right there. I've been kind of, I don't know, experimenting with that recently. I'm gonna pick up that purple on this color. Purple, I guess it's kind of purple, sort of fuchsia. I'm really tapping off my brush because kind of a lot of product comes off when I tap it. So you do wanna make sure that you're doing that so you don't get like a ton of fallout or like put down way too much pigment. And I'm just gonna deepen up uh, or intensify like just this outer part of the cut crease, literally like from the top of um, the arch, I guess, and then right there. I have no idea if you can tell the difference, but I feel like it just adds a little bit more depth. This is the Japanesque 347 brush. I'm going to pick up the dark brown in the palette. I guess it's not that dark. Anyway, I'm gonna pick that up, kind of create a little kitten eye right here, just to kind of like super into this right now. <laughs> All right, let's get into the rest of the face. I'm loving the eyeshadows. I will swatch the ones um, that I did not use after. So I'm gonna go in with the blush. This is called Honey Peach, and I'm going to apply this with my uh, sponge. This is the e.l.f. concealer sponge. I'm gonna pick up a little bit on the sponge. It's very pretty. That's very pretty. Mm, very nice formula, not too pigmented. I thought, I mean, obviously when I swatched it here, it was like kind of intense, but looks very nice. Especially if, like I never recommend going straight in with a stick. Uh, I always like to pick up products with brushes or sponges because it's just gonna help create a more f um, blended application. Uh, it also prevents you from putting on too, too much product. I really like that. All right, now Goldilocks. I'm gonna do the same thing using my sponge. I'm so excited about this highlighter because I, I kind of want to like build it up and see how intense it can get because when I used it, I was using a really small amount. So let's, uh, let's build this. Oh, look how pink it looks when you, it has like a very um, rosy base and like a gold pearl. So it's a little dark for me and I did say that in my other video. So I'm going to kind of like place it over my blush and then bring it up onto my cheekbone. So starting here and then slowly blending it upward. God, that's pretty. Mm, that is such a beautiful formula. It's not too intense. It's like a little bit difficult actually to make it like too chromey, but look at how beautiful that reflect is. Ooh, so pretty and I really love I really love that color. It's like sheer enough that um, it doesn't look, like you don't see that color distinction really like when I turn. I mean, I guess you can a little bit. It's a little dark for my skin, but I like it. I think it's nice. You let me know what you think. So because this color is a little bit dark for my skin tone, um, if I just placed it on the top of my cheeks, I would end up having just kind of like this dark line up here. So I wanna make sure that I'm kind of like blending it into the blush so that those values look a little bit more seamless. This isn't the kind of product that I could use to highlight my nose or anything because it does have a little bit more pigment to it, but cheeks, stunning. I actually might use it on my brow bone. This is probably a little bit thick, <laughs> but that's okay. I feel like I kind of just ruined that blend, but I'm not that worried about it. This brush was too thick. It's fine, everything's fine. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna use that like first silvery color to highlight my inner corner. Let's try the mascara. I gotta curl my lashes. I just ordered a new lash curler because my lash curlers recently have been making my eyelashes go in all kinds of different directions. I don't know if that ever happens to you guys. It's pretty irritating. Super interested. I don't know why they, they didn't send me like any kind of um, explanation. Uh, so I don't know if it was a mistake or intentional, but um, I'm thankful that they sent me the mascara. I definitely didn't purchase it. Did I? I can't remember. This is like so Valentine's Day. Like with this, my fucking shirt. You guys have no idea how much I talk to you and then I just end up cutting it out because I just ramble. All right, super excited about this. Just to preface, I don't have good eyelashes anyway. They're very straight. 
So holding a curl, I've talked about it. I misplaced the mascara, I don't know, oh, here it is. I basically always use a waterproof mascara, but you know, I can still try it. Okay, I love the wand. And you know what else I like about this mascara? It's not too wet. I hate when you open a mascara and it feels like wet and you need, you have to like wait for it to dry, you know, and hit that sweet spot. But I can already tell like my lashes aren't gonna hold a curl, so. But that's not bad for me. I think I, I, I dropped a couple specks, but we'll just wait for them to dry. All right, so this is the finished, um, just like mascara application. So I, did, I went in like three times on my upper lashes and then just twice on my bottom ones. Obviously I got like a little piece right there. I'm just waiting for that to dry. And I think that's just a clean eyelash, but I don't know. I do, I really like this mascara. I like the formula of it. I like that it's like a little bit more dry. It like really holds on to your lashes. Like I said, I don't have great lashes. Like they're really straight, so they don't hold a curl, but I don't know, I kinda, <laughs> I kinda like how unruly it looks. It's kind of a look, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna pop on some falsies. We'll come back to the lips. So I went in with my House of Lashes Iconic Light lashes, and for some reason they weren't very curled. They were like incredibly straight, so they're not doing a whole lot to lift my eye right now. I tried curling them, but it didn't really work. Um, you know what I mean? Like they're going like so straight out. I don't know. I feel a little betrayed. Anyway, so I lined my lips. Oh, this contact's all fucked up, hold on. So I lined my lips with the Elsie Cosmetics Remarkable Lip Liner in the shade Blush. Very pretty. Uh, I thought it matched actually quite nicely with uh, the Sugar Daddy liquid lipstick that we're gonna go in with. It does have a sweet, kind of like sugar cookie scent. So I'm gonna focus it in the center of my lips and then I'm gonna blend into that lip liner. That is a very pretty color. My lips were a little bit dry when I put it on and it's starting to dry down and it's feeling a little bit more dry. Oh, it's on my teeth. Cute. The lip liquid lipstick is very dry. Very, very dry. It reminds me kind of of the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. So it's very matte, so you know that it's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's very drying. So I kind of stopped wearing liquid lipsticks for that reason. I usually will go over top of them with a balm now because they can be incredibly drying. It does feel kind of lightweight, but yeah, it's just very drying. But the color is so pretty. I love, I love that. I'm actually really happy with the finished result. I kind of wish I'd put a liquid liner on because these lashes aren't lifting my eyes, but I'm actually pretty pleasantly surprised by everything that I used. Um, I love this color. I'm probably, I probably, this is the kind of liquid lipstick that I would go in and like pat a very small amount on my lips and then maybe go over it with a balm, like one of the Fenty balms or something, just to make it more comfortable because it does look really dry on my lips, but the color is beautiful. I love it. Uh, and it works beautifully with that um, LC lip, lip liner. And I was very, yeah, I'm really, these fucking lashes are really pissing me off. If the cat could stop, that'd be great. Very pleasantly surprised. I love the highlighter. I think it's a beautiful color. I think the blush is really nice. I'm gonna use that like on the daily probably. Beautiful. Great amount of warmth without being like too warm. Uh, great formula. It gives like a really beautiful, like the two together gives a really beautiful sheen to the skin, but I don't feel oily in any way. Uh, the eyeshadow, I'm like, the lid colors, or the formula, so stunning. Like, this beautiful sheen, really fine pearl without being, um, sometimes when it's a, it's a more fine pearl, there's kind of a lot of more filler in the eyeshadow. I don't know if that makes sense. It seems kind of like they mixed it with a matte, almost, and this doesn't feel that way. It's like not big chunky glitter, it's not super foiled, there isn't too much moisture in it, but it's got that really beautiful, just kind of almost liquid finish. Stunning, love that. Uh, I do want to swatch for you some of the shadows that I didn't use because, you know, I mean, swatching them, that was some payoff, let me tell you. Yeah, dude, the formula's nice. It's really velvety. You can tell that like the, product the pigment itself is really fine like really really fine and velvety not too much moisture 
Because sometimes like you'll get something that's really, really pigmented, like a matte shade that's really pigmented, but it feels like the, I don't even know how to describe it, like the molecules in the actual uh, product is like too wet or too large. I don't know if this makes any sense. What didn't I? I guess I didn't use, this is a really beautiful copper shade, which I will have to revisit. They're swatching beautifully. Kind of wish I'd done this before. Um, and then this pressed glitter, which I hate, hate pressed glitters. The glitter definitely looks like it's gonna be a mess. I mean, it looks stunning there, you know, because of the payoff, but um, because of the reflect, the color looks really pretty, but uh, there wasn't, it doesn't seem like there's quite enough moisture in the glitter to have it actually like stick. Like I definitely, you're gonna get fallout no matter what, like it's just gonna happen. This copper shade is stunning. These two shades are that same formula that I, I put on my lid and I just am a huge fan of them. I love them, I think they're stunning. And then that matte brown is, you know, just very, very nice. Not too heavy, not too pigmented, uh, very blendable. Very, I'm so impressed by the formula. Love it. I'm interested in seeing where this brand goes. I'm hoping that they can invest a little bit more in their packaging because I wasn't super, you know what I mean? Not a huge fan of this, but the products themselves are stunning. So I obviously have a much different opinion on this versus like, house labs because you know lady gaga when she launched her brand it was like built up like crazy and i was really disappointed in the quality of the packaging and some of the products were just very lackluster i would say comparing this to for instance the most recent house labs eyeshadow palette this formula is like light years ahead of it so i'm I would be interested in knowing like what lab they used because it does say that it's made in the u.s I wanna know more. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I mean, I recommend the products for sure. Those are my thoughts. Super interested. I hope, I hope that they continue to expand. I'll be, I'll be watching. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. If you have any of these products, please let me know what you think of them in the comments down below, or if you're interested in picking any up after this uh, review. And um, what's your favorite Queen Herbie song? Cause I love them all. She's fucking great. All right, next time. Wow, it's almost six, fuck.